Hi Explorers! In this video we're going to run through how to use the basic functions of Drive Mode on the HX1. Drive Mode contains street mapping for Australia and New Zealand, with turn-by-turn -turn voice guidance that includes visual lane guidance, speed and red light camera alerts, and much more. Backed by HEAR navigation data and HEMA track data, and preloaded with over 45,000 points of interest from HEMA, Camps Australia Wide, and Caravan Parks Australia Wide, Drive Mode on the HX1 is a powerful and easy to use tool for discovering Australia. This is the Drive Home screen. On screen is the map and the HX1's navigation button, which you can tap to go back to the previous screen you were on, or long press to bring up the handy navigation panel. You can move the navigation button by pressing and dragging it around the screen. Meanwhile, the main menu is on the left, and a trip computer is on the right which features comprehensive navigation statistics on your current journey, as well as a trip summary. While you are travelling, additional information appears on screen including upcoming turns, which you can tap to view listed directions for your route, as well as your current speed, a route progress bar, the name of the road you're on, as well as your estimated time of arrival, travel time and distance, which appear in the bottom right hand corner. This information can be edited by long pressing the trip computer button, then changing your preferences by tapping on a specific data field. You can also change your default navigation settings by opening the main menu, tapping Settings, and then Route Preferences, where you can alter a range of travel options and methods to suit you. To create a route to a single destination, tap the Menu button and then New Route, then select your destination type. The HX1 can create a route to an address, coordinates, a specific place on the map, or any of the 45,000 points of interest preloaded in drive mode. You can also search for a destination using the search in all bar, which you can type any keyword into to find places and points of interest around you. Points of interest can be found under the places category, which can then be filtered into HEMA, HERE and Camps Australia wide points. Once you have chosen a destination, you can tap select as destination to generate a route as well as change travel options like motorways, toll roads and ferries. You can also save a destination to your favourites list by tapping the arrow button and then save location. From this sub-menu, you can also tap detailed information to bring up more info on a point. This includes coordinates for addresses, while POI include extra information such as facilities, activities and more. You can also access this information by tapping on the title of a POI or an address. On that note, you can also find out what points of interest are around you by tapping Places Around Cursor. After you have selected your destination, you can view and select alternative routes as well as review route information. You can even alter your route preferences, view a list of directions for the trip, save the route, and view any points of interest that are along the route before you start your journey. Once you are happy with your route, you can then tap Start Navigation to begin turn-by-turn -turn voice guidance. To edit or cancel a route once you have begun navigation, tap the Menu button, where you can then delete it, add another destination to your journey, as well as alter your route with detours and alternatives. Drive Mode makes it easy to queue up numerous destinations in one fell swoop which you can do using multi-point routes. This makes it easy to plan multiple days of travel in a single route. To do so, simply tap the plus icon to add as many destinations as you need. If you're not partial to the order of your destinations, you can also optimize your route and waypoints to cut down on travel time. To delete a multi-point route, once again, open the main menu, then tap delete route. That covers the basics in drive mode. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and videos from off the beaten track. Thanks for watching, explorers.